Good. You're alive. When I first saw you falling, for the first time I prayed that I'd save you. I think I overdid it. That's the magic cauldron. It's still there. Cornelius. I'm all right. How's the cauldron? I stopped it without destroying the core. But all the phosons it absorbed from the world have been used up. At this rate, the salvation Iwe talked about is... Friend or foe? Gwendolyn! She's still alive! They're both alive! Huh? This ring... It's Titrell. Why does she have it? Is this fate? After all this, it's made its way here. But... The furnace has no more power. Mr. Croy, I finally understand. There's still some power. The crystals are right here. In this cipher, the blade is a crystal. If I turn them back into phosons, they could power the cauldron. No, Velvet. If you use the cauldron, you'll be cursed. Cornelius. Everything that has happened has been leading up to this moment. They are the crownless lords from the poems. They will be the ancestors to all of humanity. And this hand wearing the ring shall be the savior from the prophecies. Velvet! The ground is crumbling! We must hurry! I must reverse the magic's flow. Ciphers, give yourselves! Release the source of life! Back its soul. I hereby request Arion's revival. Let the seed of life flow. Obey the ring, Cauldron. You are no longer an abomination, but the mother of all, filled with hope. Everywhere we look, the land is ruined. Tis worse than the netherworld. Are we the only ones who survived this? That I do not know. But tis a miracle that we survived at all. Perhaps... <sighs> Let's find a place to rest. In this shattered world... Will there ever be a place that can accept us, after we've hurt the world so? Gwendolyn... Wait... Something's happening... Gwendolyn...
Oswald! What is it? The land! It's as if a new world is being revealed. Gwendolyn, we're witnessing a miracle. We cannot give up. We must have hope.